swimmers. Welcome back to the Swim Vice channel. This episode is about my top three priorities to help you have the most effective swim practice when you rent a lane. Now, before I get into detail, if you're new to this channel, welcome. And if you're looking to support the channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner as I post videos every week to help with your swim practice. So in this video, I'm gonna go through my top three priorities to help you have the most effective practice when you are able to rent a lane. Here are my three quick tips on how to utilize your time when you're renting your own lane, given that it's about 30 to 45 minutes of swim time. The first point is taking time warming up before you head to the pool. Do a series of dynamic movements to help you get your heart rate up, the blood flowing to your shoulder joints so that way you are able to warm up properly once you are in the pool. I have a video example of what you can work on at the top right hand corner. So the second point that you want to take to the pool is keeping your practice as simple as possible and only taking one to two technique points to work on when you're in the water. This will help you retain the information you are working on so you get the most out of your practice. And lastly, if you're renting this lane on your own, utilize the T-bar, which is a line at the bottom of the pool and swim directly on top of that line. This will help you achieve symmetry while you are working on technique. All right, swimmers, I hope you enjoyed today's video. And now you have a couple of practice points that you can take to the pool where you get the most out of your time. All right, swimmers, if you have any questions, drop a comment below and I'll be sure to answer them as soon as I can. And if you're looking for more detailed content, head over to my website at swimvice.com. All right, swimmers, enjoy your practice and I will see you all next week.